All right, getting back to weather. Want to go back to that uh, latest severe thunderstorm warning that we do have across the area. It does include the northern part of uh, Collin County. McKinney included in that up toward Anna, Fannin and Grayson counties as well. So that uh, stretches uh, just south of Sherman, moving over toward the bottom there, uh, officially in the uh, warning. So we'll have that uh, strong wind gust potentially up to 60 miles per hour there here for us this morning. So that has what uh, has prompted the warning and that goes until 730. So that's moving off to the north and east and we'll eventually move up into southern Oklahoma. But that's the uh, one warning, the low warning that we do have, but it does include Collin, Fannin and Grayson counties, parts of each of those counties. So definitely keep that in mind here this morning. But anywhere you go around the Metroplex in North Texas, we'll have that potential for rain and thunderstorms pretty widespread across the area, even though that's the only active warning that we have right now. Coming back down into the Metroplex, you see moving over towards South Lake and Keller this morning, moving out toward a Saginaw right down I 35W looking at some heavy rain and that moving right over DFW Airport where we have talked about the ground stoppage still uh, un uh, going into effect. Uh, still in effect until 7:15 here this morning, so we'll continue to uh, watch the uh, showers and storms move through there. Carrollton as well, picking up some heavier rain. So again, give yourself some extra time. It's picked back up once again. The southern parts of Dallas and Collin uh, uh, and Tarrant counties as well, from Cedar Hill back to Mansfield and Kennedale here this morning, still picking up some heavier rain. So this will be a uh, widespread. That potential for some gusty winds and some stronger thunderstorms can't be ruled out as we get out toward Mineral Wells, Grenberry down toward Stephenville could be looking at some gusty winds with the uh, southern edge of that line of storms as it works its way uh, east and northeast through the area here. So still a few more hours. We're going to be dealing with the uh, rain and thunderstorms around here this morning, so we're not done yet. We have the one active warning and there could be a few more. There will be a risk for some strong severe thunderstorms continuing as we go through the rest of the morning rush and we still have that severe thunderstorm watch in effect until nine o'clock here this morning. So definitely plan accordingly. Give yourself some extra time. Uh, maybe wait till the storms pass before you uh, venture out. We talked about some delays with uh, some of the school buses and uh, one of the uh, school districts anyway out in uh, Weatherford here this morning, so definitely something to uh, be aware of. Now, as we go through the day, as far as the uh, severe weather threat is concerned, I think the main concern with us with the uh, storms here this morning will be the uh, damaging winds, maybe up to 60 miles per hour. We could see some hail, maybe up to quarter size, but uh, what we've seen here recently anyway over the past a couple of hours has been uh, much smaller than that, and then that severe weather threat will shift farther east as we head into this afternoon. So we're going to be dealing with this mainly before lunchtime, I think, over most of North Texas with that severe weather risk across uh, North Texas, so it is marginal. Our western counties, things are uh, settled, settling down there, so I don't think we'll have to worry about that there, but we will have at least that marginal risk for those uh, severe storms. Looking at the timing, as we head toward 10 o'clock here this morning, still probably looking at some uh, thunderstorms around the uh, area, but they should start to taper off as we head toward midday today, shifting a little farther east as we head later into the afternoon hours. We'll be clearing out from west to east, in fact, uh, by this afternoon. And as we head toward 2, 3 o'clock, around the time you're coming home from work, picking the kids up from school, don't think we'll have to be concerned about much in the way of thunderstorm activity around North Texas. So that will be the good news as this round of uh, severe storms moves on out and things settle, uh, settle down late this afternoon. So if you have some plans, to be out heading out, getting the weekend started. We should be okay for that. But a little farther east, you do want to talk about the severe weather risk that will be a moderate. You see the uh, red shaded area there as we get over toward portions of uh, Mississippi here this morning. The Mississippi up into the uh, Tennessee Valley here this morning. That's or this afternoon. That's where we're going to have uh, maybe an outbreak of severe storms there. So on the low end for us as we go through the day, but we will have that much higher risk enhanced to moderate risk over portions of the south later on today. But for us, we're looking at the uh, still rain coming down. Talked about the ground stoppage out at DFW Airport. 64 degrees there right now. 74 still heading out to a love field. So temperatures will be cooling down a little bit. No delays here uh, this morning, but uh, that could change with the showers and storms around. So we'll see the temperatures still in the low mid 70s out ahead of the front. We've cooled down in the upper 50s to low 60s behind it, but we'll break out into a little more sunshine later today. We'll see those temperatures warming back probably into the mid and upper 70s, and that will be the case as we get into the weekend too. So we'll get through the weekend dry. Some very low in rain changes and cooler temperatures as we look at that 10 day forecast as we begin next week and then a few more showers and thunderstorms return late next week.